There's something universally appealing about the thought of a gaming laptop. All the power of a gaming PC crammed into a single, portable device that you can carry with you anywhere you go. Who wouldn't like the sound of that? But the reality of the situation is strikingly different. The truth is, gaming laptops simply cannot match desktop PCs in terms of performance. And one of the reasons for this is their hardware. At first glance, it may appear as though laptops utilize the same pieces of hardware that desktop PCs do. But this isn't the case, even if the names match up. For example, their RAM modules are physically smaller. You couldn't take them out of the laptop and plop them into your desktop PC's motherboard, they just wouldn't fit. The same goes for CPUs. The CPUs that laptops use are known as mobile CPUs. And physical incompatibility with desktop motherboards isn't the only difference between mobile and desktop CPUs. Don't worry though, we're about to go through everything you need to know about mobile CPUs in this video, and then see how they fare for gaming. So without any further ado, let's begin. The differences between mobile CPUs and desktop CPUs aren't arbitrary. They all stem from the fact that desktop CPUs simply don't offer what a laptop needs. Laptops are meant to be portable, so they value portability over raw power. This is why the two most important factors for mobile CPU are power efficiency and cooling. Since laptops are battery-powered devices that need to perform well even when they aren't connected to a power source, they need to prioritize power efficiency over raw power. It's not as if desktop CPUs just throw power efficiency at the wayside, but they can lean more towards raw power. With laptops, this simply isn't an option. It can't be done without burning through the battery like paper. And even if the battery were somehow inexhaustible, laptops would still opt for the power efficiency route due to the cooling concerns. Cramming an entire PC's worth of hardware into a relatively small chassis is hard enough as it is, but manufacturers also need to worry about airflow. Heat dissipation is a much slower process inside a cramped laptop chassis where multiple large fans and hefty heat sinks are a luxury that can't be afforded. Therefore, mobile CPUs need to generate less heat and this, in turn, limits their performance. So with all that in mind, you can expect mobile CPUs to have significantly lower clock speeds and TDP than desktop CPUs. What's more, they often feature fewer cores as well, all in an effort to draw less power and generate less heat. We should note that not all mobile CPUs are the same. More powerful models do exist. Some even come close to the desktop CPU in terms of performance. For example, Intel mobile CPUs with the H designation are all high-performance models as opposed to U and Y designations which are used for low-power and ultra-low-power models respectively. In any case, unless you know a certain mobile CPU is a high-performance model, you shouldn't expect too much out of it. And this leads us to the next question, which is whether you should even game on a laptop. If the hardware used in gaming laptops is inferior, is there still a reason to opt for laptop gaming instead of desktop gaming? The answer can be both yes and no, depending on what you prioritize. The biggest strength of laptops is their portability. If you don't care much for the portability aspect, then no, there's really no reason to get a gaming laptop over a desktop PC. Not only do desktop PCs offer better performance than gaming laptops, they also cost less. But if portability is a big deal for you, then you can rest easy knowing that gaming on a laptop is completely viable. It's more expensive than desktop gaming, but it is viable if you can afford a gaming laptop. Gaming laptops are the bulkiest laptops around, but they're still way more portable than desktop PCs. And even the performance of other laptops can always be boosted by using an external GPU. At first, you might think that external GPUs would make the entire laptop gaming package less portable, but this isn't always the case. Many users will be perfectly content to leave their external GPU at home when they need to take the laptop with them somewhere else. Then they would return home and they can just plug in the external GPU back and resume gaming. The same goes for a monitor. You don't have to limit yourself to the laptop's display if you're gaming at home. However, those who are constantly on the go and need to get their fill of gaming on the go as well should invest in a proper gaming laptop. What's more, you should consider investing in a cooling pad too, regardless of how good the cooling system on your laptop is. There's no such thing as a laptop with airflow that's too good, you can trust us on that. Finally, you can always refer to the tried and true benchmarks before committing to any purchase. With regular desktop hardware, you may not always get the same performance that's shown in the benchmarks. The person doing the tests might have overclocked something, they might have a better cooler or something similar that would affect the performance in some way. 
But laptops aren't exactly customizable, so you can be sure that the performance you're seeing from a specific model is the performance you can expect to get out of it yourself. So if a certain laptop can meet the level of performance you're after, why not game on a laptop? In summation, laptops use different hardware from desktop PCs. With regards to the CPU in particular, mobile CPUs place a higher emphasis on power efficiency. This is done so they don't burn through the battery too quickly and don't generate too much heat. These are restrictions that desktop CPUs simply don't have. That's why you can't expect a mobile CPU to offer the same level of performance as a desktop CPU. So if you don't need the portability that laptops offer, it's best to go with a desktop PC that doesn't suffer from mobile CPU limitations. That said, there are high-performance mobile CPUs out there that don't lag too far behind their desktop counterparts. If you're looking to do some serious gaming, we suggest purchasing a laptop with one of these high-performance CPUs. Then, if you still plan on gaming primarily at home, it might be best to purchase a laptop without a dedicated graphics card. The chassis will likely have better airflow this way. You can then connect an external GPU to the laptop when you're at home and be ready to immerse yourself in video games. However, if you need to be able to game on a laptop anywhere and everywhere, then a proper gaming laptop with a dedicated graphics card is the best way to go, since you can't very well lug an external GPU with you at all times. For guides on the best gaming laptops and custom PC builds for all price ranges, please refer to the video's description. And that about does it for this video. We hope you found it helpful. You can let us know if you have by liking it, sharing it with friends, and leaving a comment. And if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to enable notifications. We upload a new video every week, so stay tuned for the next one. In the meantime, may your games be fun and your losses few. And as always, we'll see you next time on Gaming Scan.